John chapter 20 verse 11. Mary stood weeping outside the tomb and as she wept she stooped to look into the tomb and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They've taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing, but she didn't know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you've laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. The worst thing has happened. Not only has Jesus been executed by crucifixion, but now when the women come to do their last service for him, his body's not there. What is there left to do but weep? Mary looks in the tomb and sees to angels. She asks them, what's happened to the body? What have they done with it? Where is it? She turned round. She didn't recognise Jesus and why should she? She wasn't expecting to see Jesus alive. She doesn't even recognise him when he speaks to her. Woman, why are you weeping? She tells him. She does recognise him when he says her name. Mary. When she is addressed by her Lord, by her name, her eyes are opened and she sees what she never thought she would see. Jesus risen from the dead. Jesus' death on the cross has been written about, prayed about, discussed, theologised about, its meaning, written about, talked about, preached about. And it will carry on because it is a unique event of such significance. But its significance lies in what happened on Easter morning. Without this, it would be just another death on a Roman cross. And this, the Christian church cannot explain, but we have repeated it one to another across the generations. Because while only those very few in Jesus' inner circle got to see the risen Christ, got to eat with the risen Christ, some of them had breakfast made for them by the risen Christ. Some of them talked with the risen Jesus, thinking he was just a bloke they'd met on the road to the small village outside Jerusalem. They met the risen Christ. Their lives were never the same. And those of us afterwards, although we haven't met the risen Christ, as we pray and ask for God to forgive us our sins because of Jesus' death on the cross, by his Holy Spirit, we too are filled with the presence of God and meet Jesus in his love for us, both as individuals and when we meet together. So this Easter day, Christians rejoice 
not just because 2,000 years ago Mary met Jesus outside the tomb and recognised him, but because that risen Lord, now ascended, sent the Holy Spirit that ever after people like you and me can today meet with the risen Christ and have our lives transformed. May God bless you this Easter with the love and grace of the risen Christ. Amen. <laughs>